hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is jasmine and this is my season now y'all i have a quick word for whoever need it right and that is don't stop it's working like literally um i need somebody to know like don't stop it is breaking that thing it is breaking y'all the biggest one of the biggest tactics and tricks of the enemy is for him to make us think that our spiritual warfare or our spiritual tactics that we use that has been, um, you know, given to us through Christ is that it's not working, okay? So whoever this is for, basically, um, God just want to encourage you that it is working, right? That thing, it literally has to break. So it may not look like it in the physical realm. It may, as a matter of fact, in the physical realm, that thing may look like it is getting worse. It may look like it ain't budging, okay? That thing may be stubborn. But God told me to tell you that you keep on doing, you keep on praying. You keep on praying because your portion is deliverance. He said, you keep on praying, you keep on rebuking, you keep on binding, you keep on renouncing that thing. He said, every time you hit the enemy in the head, okay? Oh, God. Whoever you are, just God, God wants you to know, you know, that it is working. It is working. He said that use his word like a sword. Every time you said, God said he's giving you us the power and the authority to trample the heads of serpents. Not only that, but he's put the power in your tongue to root up and to tear down. He said, he said, continue to speak to that thing. Okay. Glory to God, y'all. I don't know who this, this portion of the message is for, but, um, there was this thing that I was, um, battling right i was i th th this thing had a stronghold on me right and um i i was i was wrestling with that i was trying to get free i was trying to get loose but one thing about it is y'all know the devil he don't like to give up no territory he he was fine back right he was basically find me back but it'll come to a point sometimes where i would just draw the line and i'm like i'm done like i'm through with this get this out of my life and i would just throw it away you know whatever it is for you like if it's that whole bottle of alcohol clean it out clean out your whole house throw the entire bottle away on Kevin. it's a brand new unopened bottle take it pour it out throw the bottle away okay get it out of your house okay cleanse your home y'all and i i'm gonna tell you i struggled with that thing and and, and for somebody else it may be smoking you know cigarettes or it may be or if it's drinking for you you know or if it's uh drugs for you whatever it is god says you keep on finding that thing he says you keep on using the spiritual weapons that he's giving you he said because every time you do it you it's, it's almost like an axe hitting the chain okay he said every time you're doing that thing is getting weaker and weaker he said your deliverance is not your deliverance is drawing near glory to god it's the devil that's speaking in your ear wanting you know they wanting you to think that you're never gonna get free that this thing got a hold on you you're gonna be like this for the rest of your life but the devil is a liar okay anything that's speaking contrary to to the will of god to what god already spoke about you is a lie in the name of jesus i don't know who you are prophets love to say that you know i don't, I don't know who you are but for real y'all whoever whoever this word is for um keep keep going like keep doing it keep seeking deliverance keep getting on your face before god keep taking that thing before god laying it down at the altar it may not you may not see that thing moving at first but god said keep going keep going keep coming Don't worry about what you see in the physical. I just want somebody to know that this is this warfare is fought in the spirit. Okay. You just got to receive your healing by faith. Receive your deliverance by faith. Speak it. The power and the authority is in your tongue. Y'all know that we were made in the image and the likeness of God. That everything that God spoke, it had to be. He called this whole universe into existence through the words that he spoke through his mouth so i don't know who you are but god said as you speak it he said it's gonna you're gonna start seeing it manifest in the physical our words make worlds glory to god as you speak it that thing has to come to pass as you speak it as you speak it glory to god 
as you speak it the deliverance is in your mouth the deliverance is in your tongue and i'm not talking about go back and forth with the enemy like eve did but i'm talking about speak what god is saying over every contrary voice yeah the enemy gone he's gonna be trying to talk back to you to you at first glory to god but victory is yours victory is your portion y'all like it was like y'all i just keep being brought back to like when like i was wrestling with this thing you know i was trying to get free and i would just throw it out you know jesus I would just I would just throw it out even though you know I go a good three or four days without it and then after that I need it again you know I go purchase another one but the 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 deliverance was already taking place to the point where when I would buy another one I probably couldn't even keep it you know for that whole day I would have to throw it out again I know it may not make sense I know it's gonna probably seem like child look But it's working okay let your no be your no and your yes be your yes your deliverance is drawn near that's one thing that the enemy that's one weapon of the enemy is he try to play with our minds and make us think that we're not going to be saved or we're not going to be delivered but if you get into the word of god you will literally know that he sent us a savior jesus christ because he knew we were going to be helpless we was going to get here we, we can't even help ourselves, lord we can't we can't save ourselves but god is so good that he knew that so he sent us a savior if you accept jesus christ as your lord and savior on today if you did in the past that's fine that's good but it's some of us who need to re-accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior because we didn't let that sin back in again. We didn't got we didn't got tied up in some things again. We didn't got addicted to some things again. We didn't we didn't we didn't <clears throat> we didn't built up some demonic altars in our life again. We didn't we didn't been fornicating again. Y'all, I, I went to this woman conference yesterday, y'all, and um, the theme of it was coming back to the altar y'all and i think that's where god is taking this word like he's he's telling he's telling us to bring it back to the altar he said whatever it is he said bring it back to him he said sacrifice it again because he's faithful he said the same god who brought y'all last time I, i'm gonna i'm faithful enough to do it i'm faithful enough to bring you out again i love y'all so much Whoever you are, keep your foot on the enemy neck, okay? Because victory is your portion. <clears throat> like I was saying, God knew that we were we were going to need help, okay? And and if you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, deliverance is your portion. Victory is your portion. Everything that's contrary to the Word of God that's speaking that's been spoke over your life. The word of God says that I've come to set the captives free. That means that if it's something that got you bound and you don't like that thing, it's not your portion, baby. It is not your portion. You keep speaking who you are in Christ. I am healed. I am whole. I am delivered. I am set free. You keep speaking who you are in Christ until that thing manifests in your life glory to god y'all when when jesus delivered legions out of that man the all those demons were up in that man y'all they didn't they 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 didn't want to go who who are you y'all when i say those demons begin to speak out to christ it look there's some of us who are operating spirits are operating through us and it's like sometimes they just stay hidden like you don't even know they're dead they're there it get worse it, it, it may seem like it's getting worse as your deliverance is drawing near it may seem like okay i used to just want it a little bit but now this thing i literally feel like ripping my skin off if i can't have it it may seem like that at first because the the devil is gonna try all he can to stay in that territory but i don't know who you are but god is calling us 
God is calling us to take back our land and our territory that the enemy thought he had stolen. He may was able to occupy that land in the previous generations. He may was able to occupy it in your mother's land. But we renounce everything. We renounce every curse that was passed down through us, that was passed down to us from our mothers and fathers. We renounce every demon that has been tracing us through our bloodline because of the curses of our mother and father. Every disease, every addiction, we rebuke and we bind you. You are operating illegally because I am a child of the most high living God. That means that once I became a child of God, I no longer have blood of man, but I now have, I'm, now my DNA is in alignment with Jesus Christ. Glory to God. And he already paid the price for it. He already died for it. I thank you that on every altar where a sacrifice was made or a covenant was made that is not of the will of God, that is not, that is de demonic, Lord. I just plead the blood of Jesus Christ over it. I just ask that the blood of Jesus Christ atone for atone for every demonic altar, every monitoring spirit, every spirit that has been following us through our bloodline and passed down through generations that are that's monitoring our family lord god to keep us from becoming fully who we are in christ i renounce it in the name of jesus lord you said that when we step into who we are in christ we're born again lord i just thank you for a newness this word was not even supposed to go all these places y'all But God is good and God is faithful. It's, it's some of us who need to start activating our authority.